What's good, Damien Nation? It's your boy, Rod Damien. In today's video, I'm back out here with the Clash video. Of course, as I said in the last video, about a week ago about Maverick, I'd be making a video about Clash. So here it is. I'm basically going to talk about what I think of her and where I think she's going to be in the future and what I think Ubisoft should do. And um, obviously, I think that her pick rate might be uh, low. All right, it, It's pretty much straight up like that. I think that after the first few weeks or so, of obviously people getting into Grim Sky and playing her out like all the DLC operators get played nonstop. Um, I think that she's going to be one of the operators that just does not get picked a lot because she is just a straight up support operator. Now I do think that this is a very good operator idea by Ubisoft. Very unique, um, completely new to the game. And I think that's great, but someone like Clash, who just has a shield on defense and some sidearms, you know, which obviously aren't going to be as effective as any other uh, gun on defense, you know, she's straight up supporting people. And obviously, they're not intending for her to be someone who can go out there and roam and kill with a shield on her back. She's supposed to, you know, use her little gadget and support her teammates on the roam. And although she does do that, and I think that is a great idea... Um, I think that that is just not enough for people to to pick constantly because at the end of the day, everybody wants to get kills. Everybody wants to do their thing. Yes, on every team, you've got fraggers, you've got tacticians, supporters. This is going to be more for people like me, support players. But then again, at the end of the day, having to fully support people at all times might be pretty annoying. And of course, you know, you could put the shield on your back and then get some kills like that. But at the end of the day, you're like a Montaigne on defense. So just think of what Montaigne does on attack. You're a complete support operator. Um, you go with your teammates. You, you're you basically the first guy. You're the point man. And you look into the objective, see who's there. Take some bullets because you can't get shot. And see if your teammates can get some lines, right? She's essentially that pretty, that idea. Obviously, she's very different. But Montaigne, if you think of him, in no way on attack is he bad. I mean, his operator idea seems pretty good. He's the point man, he's a shielder, he can extend fully, and that's obviously great for intel and support. And I think that Clash is pretty much that type of thing on defense. Obviously, I think that she actually is a little stronger than Montaigne in that regard, but if you think of it like that, um, Montaigne has a very low pick rate. He's barely picked. Um, maybe in the pro league you'll see him, there's obviously been some strats and things like that, but at the end of the day, he's not a bad operator. It's just that there's not much place for him in this game. And I think it's pretty much the same thing for Clash because at the end of the day, who wants to be constantly playing a shielder? I mean, you know, take all the other shielders in this game, which is mainly Blitz, um, Blitz and Montaigne. Obviously, you could count Blackbeard as a shield maybe and Fuse with the shield. But really about the main shielders, which are Montaigne, Blitz, and now Clash, um, they, they don't get picked a lot. And Blitz, obviously, he's pretty strong. He's pretty annoying to go up against. But at the end of the day, he's a shielder, so his pick rate is on the lower side. And I just hope that Ubisoft doesn't go out of their way to try to change her too much, to try to get her pick rate up, because I think that her operator serves what it is. I think she'll be super strong under the right hands if you are with a good team that is coordinating well and is just doing call-outs, doing things like that really well, I think she'll be super effective. But I hope that, you know, once they see that low pick rate, which I'm telling you is going to happen, they don't change her too much because at the end of the day, shielders are just not the most appealing people. I mean, think think of this. You probably want to play a lot of Maverick. And yeah, you want to try out Clash, but you probably don't want to main her because she's a shielder. She doesn't really seem all that appealing. Yeah, she seems pretty cool. You'll play her out, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, like I said in this video before, she's a shielder. And no matter what you can do to these kind of operators, their pick rates are always going to be low, whether they're strong or they're weak. I mean, personally, me, I think Blitz is a strong, overpowered operator, and I think a lot of you guys can agree with me on that. But his pick rate is low. So we're going to see how Ubisoft goes about that. Obviously, I hope that they do not change her. They do not buffer and make her overpowered in any way like having a blitz but um thank you guys for watching this video drop a like subscribe comment down below if you are against me if you are for me anything man have a conversation i'm out